Welcome, Leo, to your end of the month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you at the end of the month. Your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, and energy surrounding you. This message for Leo, please. Leo, there we go. My way or the highway. First words out, whether that's you or someone else around you, that is the energy. Clarifying on the King of Pentacles. This card won't only clarify on the King of Pentacles with the entire reading. Deception and envy. You're going to wear a false mask? That's fine. It's going to be my way or the highway. I don't want to hear it. It just feels like somebody's wearing a false mask around you or causing some kind of issues going on. Oh, with the deception and envy card. They want to maybe hide things from you, not tell you the whole situation, want to cause chaos, drama around you. It's either going to be your way or no way. I actually kind of feel like it's you. Um, in a lot of ways, getting on that Leo strength and energy over here with the waiting game. It's like waiting for an answer. <clears throat> in the recent past, mental conflict, the near future is disruption. Kind of interesting, you have a positive movement forward over here coming underneath the waiting game. It's kind of a hopeless situation in the recent past. And in the near future, disruption and solitude. I feel like this solitude top card is just kind of pretty much like I'm just, you know what, that's it. I'm kind of cold shouldering you, ignoring you, taking time out for myself, don't talk to me kind of um, thing. Until you get your act together. Um, with the conflict, the mental conflict over here, it just feels, you know, guys, it just feels like there's a lot of drama. I just feel a lot of drama in the air. Um, I feel like the mental conflict is not even yourself. I think it's them, right? You could be dealing with a swords, could be a Gemini, Libra, or a Aquarius. And I do feel like they're the men they are the mental conflict. Right? It's the mental conflict that they're going through that just causes all this kind of disruption, is what we're going to call it. <clears throat> it's almost like they're trying to put their mental conflict and their problems out on you, and you've just had enough. I feel like for some of you, you tried to help. Yep, there you are. I tried to help, but you're not listening. I think that there, there was there that a time when you tried to give them the confidence. You tried to give them the understanding you try to help them out but they just continue to wallow around in the mental conflict and allowing the pain um, and the affliction to happen there's nothing much you can do so it's going to be my way or the highway my my way or the highway pretty much is i'm not dealing with that anymore they just don't listen they don't see it for what it is i'm telling you we're going to say it's swords <clears throat> definitely could be gemini or libra we're going to call that person Gemini later, but for now, it could also be a Cancer. Um, but it's almost like they don't listen. They don't perceive what's going on around them. It could be allowing someone else to hurt them and then coming back talking to you. That's for somebody. I don't know who that's for. But um, it just feels like they're kind of dragging you into their drama, into their chaos. And you've just, there's nothing. It's a hopeless situation. There it is. There's nothing left for you to do. It's like you've said your, you've said your stuff. Um... You're in the waiting game, but for you, it's almost like, well, how do we have a waiting game? You're not even waiting anymore for the change. Not in the near, not in the near uh, past, right? The recent past. It's, it could be a love quarrel that they were going through. 
and they keep coming back to you. You want to see the change. They want to see the change. They want the good fortune. They want good things to happen. They're waiting for the cycles. It feels like they're waiting for the cycles to change. You're waiting for the cycles to change, and you're still in the waiting game. It's like, fine, you know, if the cycles are going to change, but I don't see any good luck yet, and I'm not aware of anything changing. Yeah. So you're in the waiting game of just, like I said, my way or the highway. I'm done. Um, until I can see the devil energy and you have the realization. Now, it feels like until you have the realization of maybe what the Scorpio is doing, we're going to say Scorpio. But you also have the realization that this, we're going to say Scorpio, continues to keep offering to them or to yourself. It could be yourself. I really do feel like this is you being dragged into two other people's love. It could be your daughter, your son, sister, co-worker. You just feel like there's other opportunities for, we're going to say, Gemini, to have other offerings, to have other things, but it's almost like they keep themselves in their own challenge mode. No wonder you're like, it's my way or the highway, because look, you're dragging us all down. You could be dragging everybody down, right? They're feeling very isolated, um, you know, and rejected by you at this time, because it does feel like you kind of have my way or the highway. I'm done. Um, and they do feel like you're done. You're done with the challenge. So they do kind of feel rejected from you though, Leo, because they do feel kind of like you did stop um, interacting, caring, listening, done listening. It says it there. You're on a positive movement forward, right? You just want to get back to what you were. Yeah, you just want to get back to where you are. With either your own commitments, maybe you have your own commitments, your own life. Maybe you have your own husband, your own wife, your own family with the king of of wands, maybe, you know, you have this other fire sign around you that you're just committed to and you just want to deal with them. Yeah, within your household, you have to keep the balance within your own home, within your own workplace, however it is within yourself and keeping the ball back in your court without allowing this drama to continue to disrupt. And that's pretty much what you're doing now because, you know, but they, they do feel it. They do feel like you know, and, but to you, it's kind of like deception and envy because it does feel like there was a time when they're like, well, I'm done with this now. And then they come back, but then they go maybe back right back to where they were before. So it's like, okay, keep wearing a false mask. Tell me one thing and then turn around and do another one. These are my laws, my house, this, that, right. <clears throat> or I just, you know, I told you what to do. You don't want to listen. So it's my way of the highway. Or some of you might've kicked them out of the house. Right, might not just be out of, you know, me not listening anymore. I might be literally kicking them out of the house to get your house back to where it needs to be. Might even be a guest who stayed too long, caused too much drama between you and the family within the home, right? Yeah, the destruction, so just take it how it resonates, but it does feel like it's end up, going to end up kind of a third party situation. And, um, in itself could even be end up a fourth party because if you do have this other person around your husband, wife, or somebody else, children or whatever, they're also going to be involved within the situation because it's so much chaos and drama. So it's definitely upsetting, you know, the situation and could be many people it might even be coworkers at work, getting everybody involved. Disruption. Now they, they believe that you want to be their friend to me, right? Like now, now we're no longer friends, we're enemies. But I don't believe that that's really what this is, right? No. This is just because they're all in their head and now they just don't think. They think that all you want to do is fight with them and they want to argue um, the case. They want to argue their case, right? And they do think that you're, you know, definitely look at all the swords. Now they're stuck inside their mind because you said my way or the highway, get out, you know, type of scenario. Um... And now it's just all mental, all emotions, all everything. And I think that you really just don't care anymore. Um, I don't really see that you don't care about them so much. You don't care about the drama. I don't care about your crap. But they are seeing it all, all weird. They might be bipolar as well. I see a lot of bipolar in here. Especially with the water upside down with the Eight of Swords. It's that tipsy-turvy kind of bipolar. So even if they're not bipolar, they're just taking it and wearing that emotion on their sleeve because they're in such a 
doomsday effect, you know, because they're not seeing clearly why you're ignoring them. They just literally don't see it. You're just trying to bring back your own self-will, trying to bring yourself back like you were over here in the present, and they're just sitting over here doomsday, um, about ready to explode. Because now they don't feel that they have really any, a whole lot of people to express anything to. It'd be different if maybe they were going to take some kind of control about the situation, but it seems like they just keep walking right back to, like they keep offering. This person keeps offering, they, oh, okay, we'll fix it. And then it just ends up double energy again. They could be in some kind of karmic cycle going on. <clears throat> and you're just looking for your Ace of Cups and just gonna sit over here kind of calm and relaxed. It does feel like they're a little more calm and relaxed in the near future. They're trying their hardest to kind of let it go a little bit, but it's not really moving anywhere. Oh, we know that one, right? It's like, I'm kind of, I want to let it go, but I'm not doing anything about it. Okay, so you can sit there on the couch and say, I'm going to leave, I'm going to do something, but you haven't moved your butt. And that's exactly what it is. So they may even be telling you this and speaking, it's okay, I'm done with them now. Really? Because I haven't seen any action at all. No. No. It's more like talking, right? Talking. So you're saying until you get rid of this person who is probably deceptive, and that could even be the third party as well, the person who keeps, who keeps the lock and key on this other person and keeps them in their head, now because you've left and the other person keeps them in their head now you left now they're super in their head now their emotions are all whacked but it feels like they want to get better but they don't know how and they don't have the inner strength to do so but they see you as strong-willed and i can see that as well it's just crazy, you know, it's like they, too bad they couldn't bottle up your strength, you know, extract it from you, bottle it up, you know, and take it, drink it, you know, so that way they can have some, maybe some cojones, right? <laughs> you know, like serious, you know, hey, so many ways I can put it, but we're online. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, you're going to need this one. Take five or more minutes to concentrate on a divine feeling or a higher thought, doing your best to block out all other distractions, and that will keep you strong and keeping the ball in your court and keeping yourself with that positive movement forward without having to deal with their nonsense. And that's really what it kind of feels like in a lot of ways. I think at first it was one of those things where it's like, I really want to help you, but you don't want to help yourself, so now it's just becoming nonsense. Yeah. I mean, because what else can you do? Nothing. Now you just walk out. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye -bye.